All right, everyone, including the docs, stick out your tongue. Uh oh. Ah. Uh, okay, well. Uh, uh -huh. uh, I don't know. What's that? Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh -huh. But what? can you touch uh -huh. your nose? Okay. Your tongue, <laughs> believe it or not, not whether or not you can touch your nose with your tongue, has some clues that it can reveal towards your health. Let me ask you all this. Has anyone ever experienced a black tongue? Clap your hands. I've seen one. Like Let me hairy, ask you like this. Has tongue. anyone ever not experienced a black tongue? <laughs> <laughs> so what, Whoa. my fair friends, oh, could cause a tongue like this? <laughs> so this is not human. OK? That would be a really big tongue, wouldn't yeah, it? That would wow. be a yes. big tongue. Wow. So this is a black tongue. Now, certainly, if you wake up in the morning and you have a black tongue, there's probably some reasons to be a little bit wary. But things that you take could give you a black tongue. Antacids, actually, especially the ones that have bismuth in it, can affect bacterial growth on your tongue and can cause the appearance of a black tongue. Antibiotics, which also obviously affect the bacteria on your tongue, it can actually increase the size of the papillae, which are those little projections on your tongue. Then you can, can trap more stains, et cetera. We've always talked. E even things like e a food you're eating, if it's black, can cause that appearance. And then, you know, on top of that, the obvious things that you shouldn't be using, tobacco products, smoking, chewing tobacco, those mm -hmm. kind of things can definitely lead to a black, dark tongue. So if you have this black tongue and you've been using these products, obviously you're going to want to brush your tongue. You're going to make sure that goes away. because This isn't something you should be waking up with every day. <laughs> no. And yeah. Dr. Travis said it's fine. No. I would hope that would be a little worrisome. And then yeah. what you have next door to that is a, a white tongue. And basically, you know, you can sometimes have a white tongue with just a little stuff. It looks more yellowish than white. Mm -hmm. But you do want to worry if it is really white, because it could be a sign of a fungal infection, which isn't really that common in adults to have white from fungal infections. It's usually yeah, more common in babies. babies. We yeah, call it thrush, thrush especially from, yeah, from breastfeeding and things like that. So that um, looks more like the cottage cheese, like somebody right. white cottage cheese on your tongue. It's a little different. But more commonly, um, you can have a white tongue if your immune system is compromised with certain um, sexually transmitted diseases and things like that. So it's important if it persists or if it has pain for more than two weeks, you go and talk to your doctor about it. Right.